Major League Baseball Hall of Fame ballots out. Yes, I saw this. These are the names that are on the ballot. Rick Ankiel, Jason Bay, no. Lance Berkman. No. Just shout out yes for anyone that you'd vote okay, for. Okay, I'm sorry. Barry Bonds. Yes. Roger Clemens. Yes. Freddie Garcia. John Garland. No. no. Travis Hafner. Roy Halladay. That's going to be tight on the line. It's close. You know, I got to go yes. Yeah. Todd Helton. Andrew Jones. Well, Todd Helton's a tough one because the numbers say yes, but it was all in Colorado. Right. But you know what? It's not his fault where he played. He wasn't. I'm going to say no. Wow. Andrew Jones. Also really good numbers. No. Jeff Kent. Yes. Benny Agbayani. Ted Lilly. No. Derek Lowe. No. Final year on the ballot, Edgar Martinez. Well, you know how I feel. Yes, yes, and yes. Fred Jesus. McGriff. Crime dog? Yeah. No. Oh. Close, though. But He's no. got a big home run numbers, doesn't he? Yeah, but those... That, those 493. But 500 doesn't matter do, anymore. He didn't do roids. If he had 500, he'd be in. That's how silly it is. Yeah. Mike Messina. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a real... You know what? He's not in? This, this may sound he'll, outlandish he'll, he'll to a Yankee it. fan. I think... I think he's a he's a he's a tougher one than Pettit. Like I have no problem saying no to Pettit. Messina, I might have to say yes. You say no to Pettit though because of the PDs, not because of the performance, right? I, I don't. I don't. I, no, I I don't think he's he's a borderline Hall of Famer with his numbers. No, M Messina pitched his but entire Messina, career in the AL East, and yeah, well, it was won two hundred and seventy. Yeah, two hundred and seventy games. games, all as you said in the American League East, pitched some really big games. Listen, I, I don't. I, I wouldn't be shocked if he didn't get in, but I think he's closer than Pettit is. Darren Oliver, Roy Oswalt, Andy Pettit, Juan Pierre, Placido Polanco, Manny Ramirez. Purely on numbers, he's a first yeah, ballot Hall of Famer. But, you know, he's... Mariano Rivera. Oh, yeah, of course. Scott Rowland, don't say no that quickly. When you just look at third baseman, he's, I know. he's very close to a Hall very, of Famer. Very, very close. Kurt Schilling, forget about his politics, whether you like it or not. Well, listen, I, I put him in just because I, I think he is among the greatest postseason pitchers ever. Mm -hmm. And his numbers in the regular season pretty, weren't awful. They're very good. good. It's kind of like an Eli Manning of baseball. Okay. You know, where you kind of look at the postseason more than you look at the regular season. Gary Sheffield. Another guy you know whose what? numbers would say Hall no, of Famer. Numbers say, yeah. Well, and and he's, he's never, I mean, he's, he's, a, he's kind of a... A nutcase admitting that he threw balls away in Milwaukee to get traded. But he matured as he got older. I, I don't know. Is he a Hall of Famer, though? Probably not this time. No. Sammy Sosa. No. Miguel Tejada. No. Omar Vizquel. Maybe. He, the problem with Omar is that he was always on the outside of uh, the Nomar, right. Alex, Jeter. But he was an amazing defender. He, he, was, he was a really good hitter. But I, I, I don't know. I think he's borderline. Billy Wagner. No. He, I, I, you take no. a close look at his number. I mean, he's not a Hall of Famer. Uh, he's not a Hall of Famer. No, not, I know. I, I, I saw him with the Mets. He, was, he had a good career. Larry Walker. No, another another one. Colorado another, guy. But he also did well, you know, in Montreal. But I don't look at him as a Hall of Famer. Vernon Wells. No. Kevin Euclid and Michael Young. Nope, nope, and nope. Now, here's the big question with this list. Is Mariano Rivera going to be unanimous? And... I want to see the guy who votes against, or the guy or well, gal that votes against. You him. know there are people that because DiMaggio didn't go in on the that's first not, ballot. That's not their I, concern. I, I, I know it's not their concern, but that's some. If if somebody doesn't vote for him, it'll be because I don't put anybody in the first first ballot. If DiMaggio didn't go and on the first ballot. And what I would ballot. say to that those people though, Don, what if every single voting member decided they were going to protect that first ballot sanctity, right? Mm -hmm. And he didn't get any votes. He wouldn't be on a ballot. He'd never make the Hall of Fame. So. Who are these people to... That's not your job. Is he a Hall of Famer or not? Griffey should have gotten every vote. Seaver should have gotten every vote. This guy should get every vote. He's the greatest who ever did it. You look at it and you say, is there anybody better at... Now, there's some people that have problems with closers. Right. There are some people that have problems putting guys in in the first ballot. There's always that Yankee bias, East Coast bias sometimes with guys. But you know what? I can't. I, I couldn't be the guy not vote for him. I mean, I think he's as dominant in his position as Ruth was to outfielders. I mean, I really. Who's even close to this guy? And if you say Trevor Hoffman, shut your mouth, shut your hole. 
Don't give me any numbers. This guy shouldn't even be in the same building as Mo. There is nobody close to this guy, Michael, that did it for as long as he did it, was as money as he did it. Who? Who could even be in the conversation? If you're going to put Mariano Rivera in a room and say, you can't go in that room unless you're close, there's nobody. No. There's nobody close. First no. of all, how many Hall of Famers... How many um, closers are in the Hall of Fame? Shooter, Raleigh Fingers, Dossage, Suter, and Fingers. They don't belong in the room. But Mo. Well, you. you so I would tell Moose him. would fight you. First of all, he's a little older now. Doesn't matter. He's still in good shape. If I lost a fight to Goose Gossage, how great a story is that? Phenomenal. <laughs> I mean, if For I. For the walk, air, it would be amazing. If I walked into Madison Square Garden at Center Ice right. before the game. Let me tell you a story. Right, and I grabbed the microphone and I told people. I got a shiner from from Goose Gossage. Here's the story. Captivated room. Captivated room. 19,000 people hanging out What event everywhere. is this? You're like doing a live show right. based on it? All right. No, Mr. They, they, Mr. They, Captain Little. Between period. I'm, I'm, at, I'm at Times Square. Just wandering, minding my own business. Right by where they always put the bleachers by the uh, the NYPD mm -hmm. boot there. Sure. And I'm just, and, and, I, and I just grabbed a microphone and said, I got a, I, I got a, I got a shiner from Goose Gossage. The crowd, they would have to get the police there First people with, <gasps> right, now, right. And just, and, you know, listen, I'm, I, I fancy myself a decent storyteller. Very good. <laughs> I spin a good yarn. Yeah, a, little, a lot of words, but they're good words. Wow, the seventy percent more than our words is what you're saying. <laughs>